Hello everyone! Hope you're having a wonderful day today. So, what are we talking about? Like a pretty popular fan theory that's going on right now, which involves Aiga and Spriggan and Beyblade Burst GD. But before we continue, pointing up the camera right now, can we get 700 likes? And I'm gonna leave a poll in the description, or uh, as a card, I mean. And also, I guess you know, comment this. Do you think one? I go, is gonna own the new Spriggan, two, is gonna own an Achilles, or three, new owner for Spriggan. So we got Shu, Iga, or new guy, okay? So I didn't make up this theory. This is actually a theory that's been actually very popular. It's quite a bit in discussion. Uh, now, I was gonna say it was extremely far-fetched, but, you know, there's kind of some basis towards it. I'm gonna get my thoughts near the end of this, right? Because I'm, <laughs> I, I really had to think about it. So, in the Melee Burst GT opening, we're introduced to multiple bladers. This person right here is the owner of Pegasus. This one I'll save for a discussion for another video. And of course we have Delta with the Abolos, which these three seem like just antagonists. But right when a drum is going up against Delta, and they're using like their, what do you call it? The, the turbo essence thing, right? When they clash, guess who comes out of the explosion? It is Aiga Akaba or Aiga Akabane. He is right there. He appears, he gets ready. And then after you see that he has, a, his clothing I would say is uh, red, white, and blue. So. Almost most of the time when it comes to Beyblade Burst, uh, their clothing represents the colors of the bay. So with Aiga, right, you had some red, blue, and yellow. This time around he has red, blue, yellow, and white. So you can assume, I guess, the new Achilles will have some form of white on it. Either way, he's got a really nice redesign. But uh, he gets ready, and he tries to launch uh, whatever bay he has. And people have said they can already see his bay. I don't know right now. Now, my theory is that for right now, if Aiga does ever make an appearance, which we still don't know when, no episode titles imply anything or anything like that, I think Aiga might come around the time maybe September. I don't think there's any, actually we don't know what's, uh, we don't know most of August yet. So August, September, we still gotta find it out unless it comes really late. But uh, I have a feeling Aiga is gonna have maybe some like Chosy, Achilles before anything else. And whatever new GT Bay that he gets, uh, it'll come right after. It's uh, it's sort of like the same idea like how Volt had winning Valkyrie, then after he got an upgrade to Z Valkyrie, right? But uh, there's this theory, right? So the people are saying, okay, Iga owns Lord Spriggan. Now, first of all, Lord Spriggan, we so first, this is just like a fan theory, right? That's why I said this is like, it's just there. I'll make sure to put theory in the title, by the way, so nobody thinks, oh my god, is this true? No. So, I guess clothing, let's see if it matches. Okay. Red, white, blue, yellow. Okay, what does Spriggan have? Yellow, red, blue, I guess kind of white on there. You know, whatever, right? Okay. So, does he match the color scheme? Yes. Okay. Let's look at the other parts. Okay, so people pointed out Blitz, right? So based in the GT anime, right? Blitz sort of acts in the same way that the Chosy Awakening was showed off. Since these bays can't have really burst stoppers, except for let's say the Genweight, which is technically a burst stopper, but not really, it barely does work for most bays. Only really for Dread Bahamut, so honestly, it works really well. But, uh, Blitz in the same regard, people have said, okay, so even if Haga does not have it, uh, Blitz seems to be what will probably be used as a disc for all the uh, previous Awakening bays, because Valkyrie had it, Spriggan now has it, right? And then after people say, okay, if it's, if it's like a Spriggan evolution, why Dimension? Because Dimension was actually made by Argon, whatever, right? And it's Dimension Dash, no less. So, we have seen before that shows Z Spriggan had originally Zeta and Zeta Dash, so is it really far-fetched to say that Aiga could be the owner of this bay, right? Now that's what they're saying, okay? That's what they're saying. Now I'm gonna say <laughs> my thoughts in a second, all right. So let's see if we have a checklist, all right. Previously established parts. 
Okay. Color scheme? Okay. So, my thing is this, right? I don't think there's ever, ever in a Beyblade burst where a character has owned a bay that does not represent the first letter of their name. Now, first of all, if this does happen, it turns out to be true. It'd be really weird for Iga to own Spriggan and not an actual Achilles, right? Second of all, okay, let's go over every name. I'm gonna go over a bunch of base and we're gonna go over what the names are for those characters. All right, we've got Asherah, which is owned by, uh, is it like a Mane? Yeah, because Bush and Asherah, obviously it's not to the first letter name of the core, it's actually the main, like, the motif, like the, the Avatar Bay thing, right? Yeah, so Bush and Asherah, Amane Kusuba, Kusuba, right? That's the owner of Asura. Drum, or I could say Dante Cordu, he owns Dragon. The first letter is D in his name, so Dragon. All right, Valkyrie, Vault, because of the V. Shu, Spriggan. Okay, now I'm gonna give you characters that have owned bays that weren't the previously established bladers. All right, we had Xander, who owned Excalibur, and then after Xavier, who owned Excalibur. All right, X at the start, of uh, their names, right? We've got Ken, who owned Kirbyus, or Kirbyus, whatever. And then after we have Kyle, first letter of their name is a K. We have Hyde, or Heart, first letter of their name, H, Hades. We've got Phi, first letter of their name is a P. And then after Phoenix, the first letter, right? So on, so forth, etc., right? This is not like Metal Fight, where Metal Fight the first letter of the blader's name does not match the base or even like the previous old generation, right? Like, I'm gonna give you an example since I, I mostly know Metal Fight. Jinga Hagane owns Storm Pegasus. First letter of his name is a G. P is for Pegasus, right? Kiyoya, right? K, Leon, L, right? Okay, so now that we get this idea, I don't think Iger is gonna own Spriggan. Now what I think, because I wanted to cover this video because I thought it's kind of a cool fan theory. <laughs> Because it's it's on the, it's on the same level as like the red eye shoes brother, right? It's so absurd that a lot of people just like start to discuss it. No, it is true, a fair play, I guess. But for right now, I don't think so. No, the thing is this. The thing is with Shu, and I've already covered this before through my Devil's Advocate. The voice actor who did make a tweet before saying thank you for the three years of continued support. He could easily interpret it as either they're done as Shu, as in Shu is done, or they're just saying thank you for all three years of support, right? It could be interpreted both ways, right? And by the way, it's not it's not that hard to not see it either way, right? So that's for Shu. Now the thing is this, through all the characters teased in the manga, we have not seen one where it has the same color scheme. Now the thing is this, Loden, right who owns Zvi Longinus originally did not really have I think it was like an outfit that matched the Zvi when he debuted in the anime right but then after he had an outfit that actually did right so this character right here is like uh, his hair and everything his color scheme and everything does not match Lord Spriggan so that's why I'm going to be saying it's either it's gonna be a new character we haven't seen before because it can't be in the opening or Omega, which probably no, 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 or it's Shu. Now, I really want to go for Shu, man. If it's a new character, it's whatever. It's not that hard to think of like a character name with S, like Sam. <laughs> Why did I think of that as a name? <laughs> Sam on Spring. Imagine like some new character established in verse called like Sam. <laughs> God, that was horrible. Alright, that's where I'm gonna end it off. You can tell me your thoughts in the comment section below, I guess. Uh, yeah, if there's any more theories like this, I'll cover it. Uh, I, I, I'll rate this fan theory slightly higher than Shoe's brother thing. Like, Shoe's brother was like a 3 out of 10 for me, for a fan theory. This one right here is maybe like a 4.5 out of 10. You know? Kind of seems more reasonable than all the other stuff, but uh, yeah. 
if there's anything else, uh, I'll try to cover it. I'm probably going to do my own uh, video on what I think about Bahamut, but yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. And make sure to check out my poll, which I'll leave a card probably near the end or at the start. And uh, just comment in the comment section. I'm, uh, I really wanted to see the thoughts for this. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day.